bursting into life filled with endless joy what is that yes Now, the innermost oral is the female reproductive organ 
called the piston or carpet. Now the piston is made up of stigma. Piston is made up of stigma, style, a long tube.
Though we see a wide variety of flowers in nature, their basic reproductive parts are the same. Many plants have complete flowers that have both male and female parts. These are called bisexual or perfect flowers. Other varieties have either only male or female parts. These are called unisexual or... Now see here in Bukopita, here only stamen is there and here only pistil is there. So they are unisexual flowers. Imperfect flowers. Flowers develop from buds. The buds of a flower are arranged in rings or worms. They are called sepals, petals, stamens and carpels. Let us study the buds in detail. Click each part to know more. So now you see the calyx here. In the bud stays it protects the flower. Now one by one let us see. Sepals are leaf-like structures that surround and protect the flower before it blooms. Yeah, now you say the sepals are green in color. So photosynthesis happens there? Yes. So whichever part of the plant is green in color, photosynthesis happens there. Then next, petals. The brightly colored oil of the flower attract birds and insects and help in the transfer of pollen from flower to flower. The insects. The stamen is the main reproductive part of the flower. Each stamen consists of an anther supported by a filament. The anther produces pollen which contains the male gamete. The filament elevates the anther by supporting it like a stalk. Now this anther, it has many pollen sacs. Now these sacs hold the Pollen grains in it. Pollens are the male reproductive organs. Cells. Moving on to carpel. Pollen is the female reproductive part of the flower. Each carpel is made up of stigma, style, and ovary. A flower may have one or more carpels, together known as the pistil. The stigma is found at the top of the pistil. Grains of pollen stick to the surface of the stigma. The stomach is a long tube that connects the stigma to the ovary. Pollen received by the stigma travels through the stomach to reach the ovary. The ovary contains ovules which contain the female gamete or egg cell. The ovary eventually becomes the fruit and the ovules become seeds. Now see what happens after pollination, the stigma is sticky. Okay, all the pollen grains get attached. When the car sticks to the insects, the insect moves along. And because it is sticky, the pollen grains stick here. As soon as the pollen grains stick here, what happens? The pollen, uh, the, the pollen tube develops. Pollen grain sticks here. A pollen tube grows inside until the ovule and through that the sperm travels. Once the sperm reaches the egg cell, both merge to form a zygote. Okay? This zygote would be the future seed. And then the ovary would be the ovary would be the future fruit part. Understood? Yeah now now we are going to now try this quiz on the reproductive parts of the flower. Read the following question and select the correct answer. Yeah, read the question first. So the pills are brightly colorful and attract insects. Deep flat structures and protect the flower. The main part of the flower. flower. Deep flat structures that protect the flower. Very good. The pills are deep flat structures that protect the flower. I'll read the question. The brightly colored horn of petals is whiter because they protect the flower by frightening away birds and insects. They attract birds and insects. They help the plant to make food. Arna Buten. They attract birds and insects. So the pollination happens. The stamen is the main part of the flower. The stamen is the main part of the flower. The stamen is made up of the stigma inside, anther and filament, pistil and ovary.
ready. Put it in the middle. Answer and filament. Answer and filament. Which part of the semen has pollen grains in it? And the filament. Yes. The carpel is the male part of the flower, female part of the flower, leaf like structure that protects the flower. Female part of the flower. What is the carpel made of? Draw slender tubular structures on each petal with a bunch of oblong shaped structures at their tips to show the filaments and anthers. At the center of the ovary, show two tiny dots surrounded by a double lined oval structure to show the polar nuclei and embryo sac. Draw three tiny semicircular structures with a dot inside them on both the poles of the embryo sac to show the egg cells. Show a slender tube-like structure 
and launching and going upwards to the stigma to show the light pipe and the oil tube. At the base of the petals on both sides, draw dark, thick, curved lines joined at the center with a broad, thick band to show the sepal. Yeah. Now sepals are also shown. So you travel from in to out. Here is the complete diagram of the longitudinal section of flower. When flower is cut in the longitudinal section, then you get this flower, all the whole structure. Okay. Now, which part is missing here, which I mentioned, and it is not seen? Very good. Let us mark a pedicel also here. Just extend this. And mark it as pedicel. Yes, Rudra, what were you saying? Ma'am, can we present a role play in which each, each of us uh, explain each part of the flower? Yes, are you ready? Yes, yes ma'am. Who will be the pedicel? Good. Come here. Then, sepal. Thalamus. Very good. Come. Then, what about petal? Okay, now see one by one it is being given. See how the pollen sacs are there inside the anther. Okay. Then coming to calyx. Calyx is a hell only. What is calyx? The outermost horn of the plant which is made up of sepals. Now here each one is a sepal. How many sepals do you find here? Five. Five, five sepals. Yes. Now let's 
This bowler tube goes down through the style till it reaches the ovule inside the ovary. See how the sperms are carried. The small grains they come in. The tip of the bowler tube dissolves to release the main gamete, which fuses with the egg cell to form the zygote. This fusion of the male and female gamete is called fertilization. The zygote develops into a ball of cells called an embryo. The embryo remains in the center of the ovule, surrounded by tissue called the endosperm. The endosperm supplies the embryo with food. See here, after the fusion of male and female gamete, a zygote is formed. Zygote is the embryo or the future seed. The layers around it are called endosperms and all they provide the food to the zygote. The ovule develops into a seed. Each seed is unique, formed from one ovule and one grain of pollen. So one sperm cell the seed is enclosed inside the ovary, which develops into a fruit, while the other parts of the flower fall away. Now after fertilization, what happens? All the sepals, petals and all they wither out and then they fall. The ovary turns into the future fruit and ovule is the future seed. So, did you understand all the parts of the flower and the role of the flower in the sexual reproduction? Yes. Now, when the flower you see in the garden, you should be able to identify what is the sepal, what is the petal and most importantly, you have learned that each part plays its own role in the functioning and foregoing of process of sexual reproduction. Okay children, for today we have ended up the uh, learned the structure of the flower and then how each part functions in the sexual reproduction. Thank you.